If you wanna know how to make your own moist hot pack without any sewing, then stick around. Hi guys, I'm Michelle from Virtual Hand Care, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use rice and some socks that you have at home to make your own moist hot pack. Now with this method, you are going to be putting this moist hot pack in the microwave. So if you don't have a microwave, then this hot pack is not for you. But if you do have a microwave, then the equipment you are gonna need is rice. And I actually have quite a bit of rice. I'm not gonna use all this. This is approximately 64 ounces of rice. But I do like to have extra because it depends on the size of the socks you're gonna be using, as well as how firm you want the hot pack to be. You are also going to want to get yourself some um, socks. I like to use longer socks because we're going to tie these together because this is a no sew method. And make sure those socks don't have any holes in them because you don't want to get rice everywhere. And then some optional items is to get a cup and you can also use a measuring cup to scoop out the rice. A funnel is also optional. Okay, step one, grab one of your socks, place it inside the cup if you're using the cup. Again, this is optional, but it's just easier and it prevents the rice from getting all over the place when you scoop it in the sock. So you're gonna place the sock over the top of your cup like that so that you have some room to put the rice inside. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a, a measuring cup here so we can keep track of how much is in our sock. So we're gonna go ahead and put one cup in. And I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of tap that down on the table just to get all that rice in there. And we're gonna do another cup. And that's kind of getting a little full. So again, I'm gonna tap that down. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the two cups in and I'm gonna pull that out just to see if that makes a good size. Now you could just put two cups in there and that's a pretty good size for, for a small hand. Um, however, I'm gonna go ahead and put one more cup inside. And I'm gonna use a funnel to do that. Okay, so I have three cups of rice in this sock. And as you can see, this makes a pretty firm hot pack. And really you could just stop there if you wanted to. You could just tie this off like that. And no rice is gonna fall out of there. But then you have a pretty small hot pack that maybe you could put around your fingers or, or maybe your wrist, or perhaps apply a little localized heat to your elbow but I want a bigger hot pack, so I'm going to go ahead and fill up the second sock. Kind of therapeutic. <laughs> All right, so I have filled up my second sock with three cups of rice. So for me, I have a hot pack that has six cups of rice. And what I'm going to do before I tie these off, I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that I get the rice kind of moved around a little bit so that it's not too firm of a hot pack. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tie my socks so no rice falls out. And there you have it. You have just made your own moist hot pack with rice. What you can do with this then is to put this in the microwave for 60 to 90 seconds. Microwave times do vary, so you might wanna just increase it by 30 second increments until this gets to a temperature that feels good for you. And the reason why I like to make it with socks is because you have a little variety with how you can use this hot pack on your hands, on your wrist, on your, on your shoulders, your neck, wherever. But one way is you could place your hand and your wrist on this hot pack. And then of course you could lay the other sock on top of your hand. And then if you want to keep that moist heat kind of inside and kind of target the whole entire hand, just wrap a towel around and that can just help kind of hold that moisture, that moist heat inside. And then another way you could do this is to just kind of lay these long ways, place your hand on the hot packs and then you can just place the hot pack on top this way. And then another way you could do this is just take one of the socks 
and kind of you know curve it around and then you can curve the other one around in a little bit of a C shape. As you can see, there are so many different ways that a sock or socks can work as a hot pack. Now, if you have tried this, let me know in the comments below how that worked out for you. If you found this video helpful, do please give it a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.